everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogwith. We're already at day 8. So let's just start with opening up my advent calendars. So at first, as always, the Disney pin advent calendar. And number 8. Oh, it's again a fuzzy one here. Feel what it is? No, it feels kind of round, so it could be anything again. There are so many round pins in there. The Zoom Zoom pins are round, the World of Evil pins are round, the Good versus Evil pins, so let's see what Disney pin. Yes! There! So, yeah, very good, very good. We've got Maleficent! Super happy about that. It's one from the um, World of Evil pins, so they have this pink background and they are very cute. Not really evil looking, but it's Maleficent. She's my favorite Disney villain character. She is from Sleeping Beauty, which is like my one of my favorite Disney movies. I'm trying to collect um, pins from Sleeping Beauty, so Maleficent is like the perfect addition. And for me, like, she is the best villain, like, totally. The look, like, I, like, also as a child, I've never been scared of her, but I loved her already, although I was, like, a child who, who was not into, like, I was so scared easily for, for everything and anything, but I was scared at, um, of her. I always loved her. So that's, that's great. Let's keep it going with my small toy advent calendar, like small toy accessories, some vintage, some newer. Ooh, where is it? Okay, can you see that already? No. But I can definitely reach it already. A, ooh, oh. We've got a Ponyville figurine again. This time not a mermaid, but a legitimate pony. <laughs> so I think this is again a Sweetie Belle. And I have no idea why she's wearing a helmet, like a bicycle helmet. <laughs> mm. But I, at least it's um, something else than again a mermaid. And I really like how they sculpted the tail. That looks really beautiful. Also, she's, she's lots of curls here. Is the helmet removable? No, it's not. But she's really nice, and she was in that a lot that I got of like lots of. Um, Ponyville figurines, so she's a nice addition to to the small uh, collection. And what's good about these? They are small, <laughs> so you can really like um, easily fit them between my ponies or make a small like compartment where just these are going. Because I'm getting some space problems already, but I have like already new ideas where to put more shelves. So. You can always like remove other things and put other shelves there. So let's see how, how it continues. So actually, um, right now I have no idea if um, like what I will put next to this part of opening the calendars. Um, you will already know when you've seen the um, thumbnail of the video and the title. You will already know. I hope you enjoy Vlogmas. And um, see you real soon. May the frost be with you. Bye. Hey everyone. So now I figured out what to show you in today's video. It's the same day still and um, I'm in lunch break. And I thought, well, I actually have something on my mind for quite a while now, which I never thought 
would be super interesting to show you uh, but then maybe it might be a little bit of a shorter video which I can like produce in my lunch break so for today's video I want to show you my Star Wars art collection like that sounds now oh my goodness you also have a Star Wars art collection um, no it's I have some Star Wars art on my walls and um, that I purchased on conventions and all that stuff and I thought if you're interested in seeing that I will also link down all the artists that I can still find out what they are so there um, their websites or the Instagram pages or whatever I can find of them so if you're interested then you can find them online and yeah maybe some of the stuff you have seen in my background and um, in some of the videos but most of the stuff is actually in my um, bedroom so let's start there so this is my bedroom sometimes I've also filmed in here and I had all of those photos at the background these are just like cosplay photos and, and, and selfies and stuff like that with friends so that's not the topic of the video but if we go over here you can see that I have a small little bit cluttered wall of uh, Star Wars art and let's just start right here with um, these that um, I got at Star Wars Celebration Orlando in 2017. They are from a, um, a Japanese artist she, and she does these really intricate um, paper cutout art prints. Um, just from, from these postcards you can't see that but everything, every little detail is cut out paper and um, you know with um, background different colors. She puts other colors in between so it's all different kind of papers and um, yeah these you could collect every day you could go to her booth and get one of her cards I have more I just decided to put these up this is actually just like a movie poster that I got at one I don't know banner at a convention for free I think it was the IMAX poster as far as I know from uh, Rogue One I love that so I still have it on there Rogue One is one of my favorite Star Wars movies let's keep it going with some art prints of all of the same um, artist like um, this uh, Amidala, this Ahsoka and the two Leias here are uh, all from Karen Hellion which she is my you could say she's my favorite um, Star Wars artist and um, she like you, you can definitely see how like her art, art style is really thick outlines more comic-y than, than, than the realistic or something and she does these very cool um, pictures of most of the Star Wars ladies so this was my first here this Leia one um, which reminds me a lot of like Art Nouveau style with these backgrounds and I think I got it at Star Wars Celebration London 2016 and from there on I was like following her her, her art I really love it and this one is probably one of the biggest uh, art prints I have. Um, I got at Star Wars Celebration 2019 in Chicago and these were also then uh, uh, she gave out. Every day she gave out another um, like postcard of her prints and I just was able to get two of the five days so at least I got um, Ahsoka and Amidala which are two of my favorite Star Wars ladies. I think she also had Rose and she had Ray and uh, I don't know which one else but um, most of the bigger art prints that I've really purchased from the artists so um, they are signed you can see that here or for example there 2016 2019 and what's in between here these are all my Star Wars celebration badges. <laughs> Looks like, oh my goodness, to how many Star Wars celebrations have you been? Well, <laughs> to explain a little bit what is Star Wars celebration, it is the official like Star Wars convention, the biggest one worldwide. That's like done like by Star Wars, Lucasfilm, whatever. And um, I started attending when it was in Germany, 2013. This was the badge. Um, it was in Essen in Germany so it was very easy for me to go there since my friend lived like very close to Essen and we attended and we were just like blown away by like you know it's 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 a convention just 
concerning Star Wars, and we're both big Star Wars fans. You see, um, you see the makers, you see panels of the of the actors, you see so much behind the scenes stuff. It was like amazing, and everyone's like dressed in Star Wars costumes. Um, Star Wars cosplay, it was heaven. So then we decided from that year on to go to all the others. So the next one was in um, Anaheim, 2000. 15, yeah, so this is the one from Anaheim 2015 then this was 2016 in London We got three different badges because we got for the three days single badges because we couldn't get like a weekend ticket that time The other ones were like weekend tickets for all three days or all four days. I think This one was Star Wars Celebration in Orlando 2017 and this one was 2019 in um, Chicago so this is like, uh, I love to have them there because I'm also very proud that I've already attended five Star Wars celebrations. 2020 um, would have been the next one. So obviously canceled this year due to the worldwide pandemic situation. And I'm kind of happy that they shifted it to 2022 and not to next year. So maybe 2022, we're a little bit more safe that something like conventions and stuff like that is happening again. Okay, let's keep it going. These are also art prints that I got at Star Wars celebrations. So always, not always, but often after big panels, everyone who was sitting in the audience uh, was gifted some, some prints. Like this was, for example, from the Star Wars Resistance panel 2019. Um, this one was from the gorgeous um, Star Wars, uh, the Clone Wars panel 2019. I mean, that's not really an art print. That's, that's more like just uh, still from, from, from the series, but um, obviously Ahsoka, I needed to hang it up. <laughs> this is more like an art print. Um, what is here? This is an art print from Kalia Croft. Um, also directly done for Star Wars Celebration 2016 in London. Very lovely Ahsoka and her different, um, like, from, from childhood to adulthood and companions of her. and. What's in between? <laughs> That's not art, but it's also something <laughs> that I love. This one was the official 3D glasses from 2013 because they showed some of the, I think, episode two. They showed episode two in 3D at the Star Wars celebration. And can you, yeah, it also has the logo <laughs> on the glasses. So that's why I kept it and I just removed the glasses. I think I also have one left with, um, with the 3D glasses. And these are two of my, like, what are they called, medallions <laughs> that I won at Star Wars Celebration a costume contest. This one with um, my Princess Leia costume in 2015 um, Anaheim. And this one as Ahsoka in 2007, no, 16 at Star Wars Celebration London, Europe. Okay, let's keep it going because there's more Ahsoka and more Clone Wars and whatever. This one's actually from a German artist. She she is called like Mundane Pigeon. Um, she does like um, lots of Clone Wars stuff. So that's very cool. I got it at a German convention, I think in Stuttgart, if I'm not mistaken. Um, these two are also from a German artist. She's called Angelina Benedetti. And um, she is an official tops um, trading card artist. So this is an official like tops trading card. I met her at several conventions um, Power of the Forest for example or also Comic Con Stuttgart. This is a special print on something like very special like high quality paper so that was also very cool and you know she just produced 10 of them so it's always nice to have like uh, something to remember from the conventions when we also um, met the artists. So Okay, let's go over here. I have two of these cool like postcard uh, sized prints from um, a actually very well known uh, artist called Joe Coroni because he also did official um, art for Lucasfilm like for book covers or, or for I don't know, like things like that. I didn't know him before. I just love these cool um, like Prints because uh, a lot of lots of aliens are on there and um, tree legs and so cool. So I love I love those. In between, I some, sometimes have like this is again an, an um, 
like just a card from Kel and Harry on, so from this artist. Then some, some gifts. This was gifted by my niece. This was gifted from a nice kid at Star Wars Celebration who loved my Ahsoka cosplay. Um, this was just <laughs> Captain Rex uh, uh, that I got, so that's not really art. This is actually, um, uh, right now I don't know the name. I will, I will insert that. I bought that on Etsy, like, like a small case with lots of um, Star Wars woman and very cutie form. Let's okay go down. This is again from the same artist as this, so from modern mundane pigeons. Let's put this away. Four of the um, clone troopers. Yeah. And it's it's very cool because it says the name and Orabash of the clones at the back. So get rags and fives and heavy and uh, sorry I'm not good <laughs> with those. And it looks like the Beatles cover, so that's why I loved it so much. Um, this is also from her. Um, this is actually the card from this shop. And then this was just in a Funko Pop in the back. I don't know where, like this is from, from a cosplayer given at Star Wars Celebration. This one is from also from a cosplayer. I don't know whom gifted this to me. You know when you're at big conventions, especially at Star Wars Celebration, all the cosplayers that like, um, or other people that walking around, they just give small gifts to you, like stickers or badges or stuff like that, so that's really nice. Some that I really like, I also put on my walls. This is an art print I also bought at Star Wars Celebration and I can't find out the name of the artist at all because, you know, it's signed. <laughs> can't read the signature anymore, it doesn't say anything somewhere else and I can't find out, but um, I liked it because it's actually like, you know, in one of the planned Clone Wars um, episodes, it was like there would have been like a um, pinup of Padme on one of the clone ships. I mean, that was then changed to when the seventh uh, season came out and wasn't on there, but that was something that was planned. <laughs> and so it's nice to have like <laughs> something similar as an art print because I think the idea is quite a, kind of funny. This uh, is actually also one of the posters that uh, were like gifted when you sat at Star Wars Celebration in the panel. It was the um, Rebels Remembered panel 2019 in Chicago and this is actually um, uh, drawn by Dave Filoni himself. It's also the cover of the art book that came out for Rebels. Um, one of my favorites that was um, uh, gifted to the visitors of the Star Wars Celebration. I love Star Wars Rebels. So, okay, then we have got Chopper. This was actually just a freebie because I purchased something else from this uh, artist. She's called Lindsay. You will see more of her in my living room. Um, but like Chopper is funny, so I put him here. With this art print, I also can't say like who the um, who the artist is because like I can't read the signature anymore. I used to follow her on Instagram. She's a German artist and she isn't doing much Star Wars art. She's more like doing like general cool female characters or female like woman, strong woman, stuff like that in this um, really nice art style, which I like. But I don't know, I couldn't find her in my Instagram uh, anymore. I don't know if I deleted her or if she is maybe not around anymore. I couldn't find out. So I'm very sorry, but she, um, her art style is really cutesy. So, by the way, here's my sewing machine. <laughs> the three things here are actually um, uh, autographs. So this one is just an autograph, like it's not much art, so it's a photo, uh, from uh, Jonas Sotamo, who is like the new actor of uh, Chewbacca. I meet him, met him in uh, Stuttgart. This is like the kind of a funny story. This is from two of the creature um, um, like performers that are doing like a lot of creature performance, like inside some of the creatures, um, or sometimes also like aliens that have animatronic heads, all those like very heavy stuff. And um, Tom Wilton and oh, I don't know her name, but I just picked this picture because it's the funniest creature they performed for Star Wars. So. And that, that it was really nice to talk to them. They were really, really cool. Uh, anyways, and here I've got 
signatures from you can't really see that I'm really like sad that the um, the pen isn't really well you can't really see it very well actually the picture itself is from Angelina Benedetti so the same who is doing like tops cards this German um, artist and she designed this card to look like the old um, like Kenner um, back cards of the, of the toys and then it was signed by the actress of Paris Offi and Luminara Unduli who were at uh, the Power of the Force convention. So that's nice. I think that's it what I can show you in this room because you saw like it's basically this wall. I have like a small binder full of things that I haven't put up like smaller things. This is something actually really cool. It's from Hot R. PG, I, I don't know how I pronounce his name, he's cool, he's on Instagram. Um, met him at Star Wars Celebration when I was wearing Bazin Natal. And so we thought, hey, Gramgar matches really well, so he gifted me this. And then it's a lot of like, this was on the first Star Wars Celebration, then lots of badges that like people gift to you, stickers. I actually have all of my um, wristbands, when wristbands were still a thing, thing to get into the panels at Star Wars Celebration. I've kept all of those. Other badges. Is there something else that's more cosplayer cards? These are also from Lindsay, but I don't think that they are like, I wouldn't call them like art. It's more like Photoshop thing, but they look cool. Where is it? Ah, here it is behind. Like this is also from the Japanese artist. It was actually like something to put in the uh, postcards, but there were, was a time when I had hung it up to my wall because it looks like beautiful. It's Padme and you see again, it's from 2017 Star Wars Celebration Orlando. Okay, this is something from Disney. <laughs> when It's actually from Tokyo Disney. So when uh, Star Wars was first, um, Lucas Film was purchased by Disney. So I think that's the time when this was um, this was released. Something else? Ah yeah, here's another one from um, Yuki and the rest is more like small things that just don't have space on my walls at the moment or were already on there and are not anymore. Same as these. Like another art print from Lindsay that I never really liked. It was just also a gift. Like another poster of actually uh, of Leia that I was gifted. I have no idea who that is from. And actually, this one also it's not art, but this one was um, given to everyone who visited the 40 years of um, Star Wars panel at Star Wars Celebration 2017 in Orlando um, as a tribute to. Harry Fisher who had just passed away uh, shortly before so I had this on my wall like for a very long time but I don't want to expand this wall too much so that's why I just kept it um, like this space and then I exchange it whenever I get new art I put it there and others I take away so ah, yeah this one is the Mandalorian poster that was given at Star Wars Celebration 2019 in Chicago when you visited the Mandalorian panel. That was way before we had seen uh, not even the first season, so it was the first glimpse to what the Mandalorian would be, this um, panel, and we got this um, poster. It was actually the <laughs> diff most difficult poster to get afterwards because it was done like we were a little late and we had to stand in long lines to get this. And then I didn't even hang it up on my wall. I don't know why, but I wish it would have been something else. But at that time, like Baby Yoda wasn't even a thing. You didn't know that. So it was just the Mandalorian. It was from the very first shot of the very first episode. So I don't know if I will ever hang it up, but I have it. Let's continue in my, um, how is it called? Like the, the room between all the rooms. When you, this is my entrance door. Um, I have one or two art prints here. This is from um, it's from Jason Palmer. He is actually the 
artist who does most of the official Star Wars celebration art, like the big mural, on that mural is it called like that, that, that the very wide um, poster that was at the last celebration for example also was done by him or also others. He does like really realistic um, like art style and I love this because it's all of Padme's um, different outfits from episode 1 until episode 3. So none of the Clone Wars um, outfits are in there but this is one of my favorites because it's also like done in the colors of the rainbow. It starts here with yellow that it goes to green so one of my total favorites. And again it's signed so whenever I got like to meet them at Star Wars Celebrations then obviously I let them sign if they say hey do you want a signature? <laughs> sure. <laughs> so underneath there it's actually just a simple IMAX poster from like from um, episode 9 so Rise of Skywalker they were like they gave out like different posters but this was the only one I got because I got another one and I lost the other one when I got home it wasn't there anymore I probably left it in, in the cinema but anyways I put this here because I like the colors they really go well together although the theme is like completely different it's like X-Wings against the army of um, Star Destroyers like over um, Exegol so and now we're back in my like vlogmas setup here if you go up to where the cam calendar started and then right over my pony shelf like always here are the ponies that I'm like that are in um, in work in pro work in progress and I have like a nice poster from um, the first two trilogies so the prequels and the original trilogy it's not art art it's more like photos put together then two or three big uh, posters that also are not really art they are posters that I got because I wanted them to represent the different trilogies of Star Wars I wanted this one to be for the prequels this one to be the original trilogy and this one the sequels I will probably part with these in the near future especially this one because I plan to put another um, shelf there but this one I really love it's actually an original not original but <laughs> it's 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 a print of um, one of or Ralph McQuarrie's um, paintings which like Ralph McQuarrie was the official um, like artist and, and concept artist for the original trilogy of Star Wars so um, he has a really distinct style you always recognize Ralph McQuarrie art and it's just like a from episode one something it's, it's just a photo let's say like this and the other two are kind of blocked by my <laughs> Christmas tree right now so this is from Lindsay. I like have several things from her, if you remember the name. Um, she is not that active online. I can link her down below. She used to be, I don't know if she still is, the wife of another Star Wars artist, Matt Bush. Could also be because that, that they are not like together anymore, but um, she did a lot of cool like female Star Wars art, Clone Wars. Um, like Ahsoka stuff like that so this I got actually in Star at Star Wars Celebration 16 in um, in London although this was actually made for Star Wars Celebration 13 in uh, Europe so in uh, Europe same Europe but in um, Germany I know that's why it has the, the green um, the green lettering most of these official art prints then are numbered they are numbered and then you can see it's number 67 from 250 or something so they are limited and this is also like written by her like this is her signature this is like my favorite probably my favorite art print that I have at all from 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 all of them it's huge it's the Clone Wars ladies it's perfect so <laughs> and right behind that Christmas tree yes you can't see that very well but it's also from Lindsay and it is a gorgeous Ahsoka print that was like it is in her Rag Rebels that was Rebels style and I don't know if you can see that so sorry for the abrupt ending there like my battery just went empty and um, I'm not sure how much I've shown you of the last um, art print but that's basically it this is 
all of the Star Wars art and Star Wars like posters that are not really art um, that I hung up on my walls and that I used to hang up. You know, you saw also some some other bits. So as I said, if you're interested in any of those artists here, I will try to link down every like artist's main like page online below. And yeah, this was something else for today. So hope you still had fun. Um, see you real soon tomorrow. May the force be with you. Bye.